Then I enjoy my life, January of Apocalypse. It seems that the apocalypse is getting closer. We hope you are already preparing your survival backpack in case you have to run from home. If you don't believe it? Well, here we show you a series of catastrophes that have happened in a few days that we have been in 2020. On January 12th in the Philippines, 60 kilometers from Manila, the tall volcano erupted. Although it is one of the smallest volcanoes on the planet, the eruption caused a huge ash cloud, rising up to 14 kilometers above the crater. The police had to evacuate residents of the nearest towns due to a dense ash shower. A thin ice storm was the cause of a terrible flood in Dubai. This caused traffic jams on the roads of the United Arab Emirates, and those near the coast were close due to the waves. Even the Bayan International Airport was affected by these floods. With many delayed or cancelled flights, heavy fires in Australia continued to damage 10 million hectares, as well as millions of animal deaths. Scientists estimate that 2% of the largest increase in carbon dioxide on the planet this year is due to the fires. Fires that have produced 150 million tons of this gas. The neighbouring country to Australia, New Zealand, has also been affected by the fires. The large amount of smoke and ash that caused glaciers in this country to turn from white to brown. In addition, the high temperatures they contain would cause them to melt at a much higher speed. In recent days, news channels have been filled with articles about the coronavirus outbreak in China. The onset of the disease occurred in the city of Wuhan, and although its symptoms are very similar to those of pneumonia, this virus is much more dangerous. The 100 cases have been registered in the country, but the virus has already spread, reaching a case in the US. In Pakistan, 77 people have died, and 94 have been injured due to a series of avalanches. This January 15, dozens of houses were buried, and others destroyed by snow. Authorities fear death toll will rise by people who may still be tracked, either inside a house or buried in snow. An earthquake with a magnitude of 6.4 degrees should Puerto Rico on January 7. Though 8,000 people had to go to shelters, and at least 51 aftershocks were recorded in the hours after the initial earthquake. The island remained days without water and electricity services, and declared a state of emergency. We are just 100 seconds from the end of the world. This is confirmed by the scientists in charge of the doomsday clock. The reasons that the time has dropped by two minutes are the climate crisis and the threat of nuclear war. It's the closest we've come to catastrophe, and scientists confirm that the world is in a real emergency. But now you know, the apocalypse is very close. So you better get ready or it will be too late. And remember, like and subscribe. Until the next video.